for me almost being eaten by a horse. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We've got a really busy day today. We're doing our last push for packing for us to go on our little road trip. Uh, Duncan and Luke had music class. Luke had occupational therapy. The boys are in another class right now on Zoom. And we're just trying to get everything situated so that we can go. This thing that we started the vlog on is a blanket suit that... <laughs> that Jess is packing for this trip. She and her friend got matching ones and it is so funny. She's like Mother Christmas in it. I'm, I'm sure you'll see her in it later. But uh, right now I'm just trying to get the vlog all finished up, get all the packing done so that we can move on with our day because uh, we've got a busy day and then we hit the road and then it's it's little a little vacation time for us. So I'm really quick going to go do a rapid COVID test because I have been feeling like a little bit sniffly, a little bit off, and I think it's because I've been taking allergy medication every day for the past couple weeks, and two days ago, I accidentally forgot to take the medicine, and then that evening, I sat around an outdoor fire pit, and the wind blew the smoke in my face, and then um, I just started feeling really yucky the next day, which was yesterday, and I started freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, what if I'm sick? Like, we're going to be spending time with family. This is our quarantine pod. I have an obligation to be like safe with them but I also like I just oh my gosh our whole family is looking forward to this but now I feel fine <laughs> but just to be super safe and because we are taking the risk of um, being in a quarantine pod and we are obligated to like make sure we're never exposing our pod as much as we can to uh, the virus I'm going to get the rapid COVID test and I actually also added on like rapid flu A and B which I didn't know was possible but hey I was like sure add on everything just because I want to make sure that uh, we aren't going to be unhealthy when visiting our family so getting that rapid COVID test hey and I should say that I am feeling fine today so I really do think that it probably was the mistake of not taking the allergy medicine and then sitting in like a smoke <laughs> um, but still, I'd rather be safe and keep our family safe as much as I can than anything else. Oh, wee woo! <laughs> I just finished getting the rapid one and the flu one, and actually, the flu one was much more difficult than the rapid COVID. So the rapid COVID was like easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, they did 10 seconds and a little swirl, but it wasn't like way back like the other COVID test I took months ago, the one that was like not rapid. But then the flu one was just like that like original COVID test I took a while ago. And it was a three second swirl way back there. Um, and I feel like it was pretty awful. It was only three seconds and I feel like that COVID I took was like 10 seconds, like the, the first one that was pain uncomfortable and like back there. Um, and this was worse. So that flu one that I just did was definitely worse than any COVID one I've ever done. I was definitely like done and like my lips were twitching by the time she counted to three. And I feel like I, I try to be kind of tough for these things. Like, I don't know, maybe I am, maybe I'm not, but I try. <laughs> and um, yeah, rapid COVID test is uh, in the nose is the better, the best one so far. And I got a flu shot. I, I got don't a, have to worry about it. Yeah, I mean, I got the flu shot too. I feel like we should always be careful. Like you, there is a chance of still getting the flu, even when you get a flu shot. But yeah, Bailey and I have both gotten the flu shot for this season. It wasn't that much more money to add on the flu test and I just really wanna make sure that I'm being safe. So now we're gonna get some gas for our long drive and drive home and pack up the car. And I think before we even get home, we'll get a message on my phone with the results of both the flu and COVID. So we can just be really sure that everything's safe. It was negative! Great news. And you've been so safe leading up to this too. Like it would be weird if you had gotten COVID. It's it would like, be so weird. It would be so weird because I, we really do like, we are mostly at home. I just want to be as cautious as possible because we have been mostly at home. So like how foolish would it be for like the one of the few times when we're like all together as a family for me to then spread something. Like that would be not 
great. I just want to be super sure and we've done so much this year to be super sure that but there you go this was worth it all right we are back home from the covid testing and i'm going through shutting off lights locking doors making sure everything's good for us to go on our one day trip i think we have sufficiently overpacked uh food we've overpacked clothes we've overpacked board games but we won't go like, oh man, what, what, what didn't we bring? We didn't bring the thing. Well, bro, we brought the thing. We brought more than the thing. We brought extra things. I think everything's looking good now. Time to head out and hit the road. Smooth. So I always have my little like go-to bag and I have snacks for myself and to throw back at the kids if they get real wild. And I also have my Kindle in there, and I was just zipping it up, and I love this bag because it's insulated, it keeps my sparkle waters nice and chilly. Um, and I ripped it, so. Oh no! Womp womp. And I love it, it was sent to us from Australia, and that's really special to me, but. Oh well, we need to get a new insulated bag at some point in life. What? Let's go. I can't wait for this drive because I'm sitting next to this feller. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> this feller. No, stop it. I can't wait. And Faith is sitting next to me. And I'm so excited because of this baby. Playing with a book that can crunch. Chapter one. So Bailey is in the back seat reading one of the kids' favorite books, The Midnight Gang. I actually think last time we were all in the car together, she was reading The Midnight Gang to them. We just love that book. Love it. California. <laughs> How's the drive going for you it's guys? It's amazing. I'm so glad I'm sitting in the front. <laughs> it feels like a roller coaster. Oh, going down the same Oh, straight down. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Can't too. I can't wait to go back. <laughs> It'll be nighttime, you won't be able to see. This is so fun! <laughs> A lock? Oh, I got it. Here's the lock. So it's been a long drive and I've been helping Luke a lot. Um and he's um crying right now. But I put up his shade so that he sun wouldn't get in his eyes. And sometimes I would like take this book that's crunchy and I would strap it onto him and he would um, play with it. So here he is. Nope. Here's their crunchy thing. And here's the cover. Then there's Lucas. Hi Lucas. So, and I gave him a microphone and toys, but he threw them. Hello everyone. that we are driving to a large my favorite drop five of the car have been is this the roller coaster <laughs> Christmas is here. Christmas. Look at this <laughs> outfit. Look at this. It's amazing. Mother Christmas. I love it so much. And it fits a Luki, so it's perfect. Colleen's here. My parents are here. Look at how old Bailey looks. I know. Bailey, the grown up, is here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Isn't this cool, Luki? And look what Duncan has. 
Oh my goodness, that is so precious. Do you like the rocking chair? Yeah. There is a rocking chair for you. <laughs> there is a rocking chair for you. I like it. They brought it. I don't know where They brought it for you. Bailey and I are gonna give you a tour of the lodge. Welcome to the lodge. This is the dining room. These apples came with the lodge. So, apples. Here are games. They did not come with the lodge. No, we brought that stack of games. And then I think the master bedroom is back this way. We're not gonna go in there, because that's not our room. Bailey. And we have and the living room. Grandson. That's the grand. This is where we keep the grandson. We've got a lovely fireplace and a living space here, plus kitchen area. And over here we have the fridge. Nice wide doored fridge. So Jessica and I will be sleeping in this room over here. So we come down this way and we reach a fork in the road. We can go this way or this way. We're gonna go this way. Restroom, bedroom, and just to keep it chaperoned, my parents are in this room right here, which is connected. So they're here and we're here. So that's that's that sleeping arrangement. And we're gonna exit out the opposite way that we came in. Other way into the bathroom. See, it's gonna be tough, because you gotta shut the door to the bathroom, but when you leave it open, there's such a lovely view. Tough choice, huh? Tough choice. Tough choice. Let's check out the downstairs. In the downstairs, we have uh, this closet thing. And pool table and this bedroom that only uh, two of us are sleeping in. And over here we have Faith's room. Faith's room. Ooh, Faith's room. Here. She can jump from one bed to the other. That's exciting. Also, what? I think that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Don't do it. Okay. Oh, Faith's not gonna do that. I, I think it's okay. No, it's not okay for you. But if Faith wants to do it, she's an adult. She can decide to do that. Here is Duncan's bed, and here is. Wow, look at that. So we've got beds over here and ping pong over here. No, but this one, did you know something special about this one? What? It's just on the floor. It's oh, just wow. A mattress. And that's the way you like it? Yep. Wow, a lot of people could sleep down here. A lot of people. And then there's a little restroom right here. This is a lovely area to hang up your coats. And your lots and your lots of. And your gloves and your lots of nails in a piece of wood. No, just kidding, don't hang your Very hair. Very classy. Hair. I like it. Why <laughs> say hair? Don't hang your hair there. <laughs> yeah. Unless you wear a wig, in which case, go for <laughs> it. Just hang that hair. <laughs> Time to go back up the stairs. And then out here, it's like this. Oh, oh, bright. But beautiful scenery. Oh my goodness. llamas, alpacas, a horse, all this wide open space. It's just like, just beautiful. It's just a beautiful space to just hang out and spend, spend time with family. And that's what we're doing. What do you see? Which one's a pump? What do you see? I don't know. You don't know what those are? I think, I think these are alpacas, but I'm not sure. Wait, Aren't they no, cool? No, wait. These are the llamas? These are the alpacas, those are the llamas. How can you tell That's what I say. Uh, Grandma so, looked it up. You can well, call these the ones out. The other ones are more like square. Okay. These ones are smaller, those ones are bigger. They can be your body. Then, um, <laughs> That's a reference nobody that watches my vlogs will get. I know I want to pet it so bad, but it did bite my butt, so I think that was the warning <laughs> to not. See it once to. Oh, cool. Were you petting it with your hands no, or? I'm smiling for a picture like this. Oh yeah! Don't do it again! <laughs> Don't do it again! <laughs> you almost lost a cheek. You just caught on camera me almost being eaten by a horse. <laughs> that was terrifying.
Watch out, that horse. Watch out for the horse. Dude, move the baby away from the horse. It's a horse. It's a horse. Just, just. Don't bite Mother Christmas. What do you think of this horse? What do you think of it? Is it pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah, you like the horse? Bye, horsey. And he rides off into the sunset. Right, Bailey? Yeah. That's gotta hurt riding into the sunset. <laughs> yeah. One cool thing that I noticed here is right up there, like in that little zone right there, it looks like there's a nest and it's gotta be a huge bird because the, the sticks that the nests are made out of are as thick as my fingers. Right up there. I think that's a nest, and I don't see anything moving up there. Maybe it's an old nest that a bird doesn't live in anymore, but it does look like a nest for a very large bird. Because I don't think a little bird could carry those sticks up there. What are you making? What are you making? Uh, a Christmas thing. A Christmas thing? Is it one of these? Yeah, it's a Christmas craft. Christmas crafts? Do you know what that's called? It's uh, called, called a wreath. Ready for the wreath. Wreath. Very good. Right at the hat, you kind of Oh, what a cute little snowman. And now, do you know how to tie a knot? Maybe your dad can help you figure out how to tie a knot for that part. So far, I've got four balls knocked in. I was close though. But three of them were the white balls. Whoa, that just goes right through the table, doesn't it? Duncan, is it your turn? Uh, yeah. Oh, you know which one to hit. That's nice. Good Ooh, job. nice one. Yeah, nice one. You didn't hit the two balls. Oh, oh, I like the follow up. A little extra push. Oh, do you like it here, Luke? Is it so cool? He's so happy. He's just happy to see everybody in his family. He's like, every single person he sees, he's like, uh, yeah. Did you see the view? Wow. Jacob's cooking his dinner right now, which is perfect because his his class for cooking happens right now, and we managed to sign into the Wi-Fi, and he's taking his class, and what he's cooking smells so good. How, how's the cooking going, Jacob? Good. Good? It's so giant, though, that it's not good. That's a nice sauce, Jacob. Right over here is the grass-fed meat I cooked. Nice. We love a gourmet chef. Duncan, is that your manatee? Yep. I didn't realize you remembered to bring it. I, uh, yeah. I did bring it. But, but, remember, I, I shared it from, from all of you guys. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna play Colleen while vlogging. Actually, do I hit it on my side first? Oh, on my on the serve, but not anything else. Ow! Yes. God dang it! I already lost twice. Oh, oh, you forest gumped me. That was kind of unladylike by Rachel's marriage. Oh my goodness, Bailey is getting her hair done by a true professional. Oh my goodness. It's not like I having me. So cute. I couldn't resist. I, I couldn't resist. I was like, her haircut's so cute, I want to style it. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. I only have a straightener with me, so. I have a curl it's gonna look amazing. Curler. It's okay, it'll be No, it's gonna perfect. look so good. I couldn't decide if I wanted to straighten it or curl it, so I'm kind of doing both. Oh my gosh, Colleen, are you having the best birthday, vacation, yeah, family time ever? ever? And hair? I have to get on this side. Hair times? All right, so cute. 
Jacob, how's the cooking going? Whoa. Oh, is Grandma getting in there? Yeah, it's kind of hot. Nice. Oh, stuff is coming off of the bottom. Safety first, safety first. Good job, dude. It has to sit for a half an hour. Whoa, okay. You guys having a good time? Yeah. Best day ever. <laughs> you okay, Bailey? Really? I just kind of ripped out a chunk of my <laughs> The finishing touches. It's looking so cute, Bailey. Mm -hmm. Want me to show you? Sure. Yeah. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. I'm not done. Oh, these. she's not even done? No, girl. What more could you I do? I don't know how to do hair, mm. clearly. Yes, you do. Look I'm like, you did all the hair. This is the cutest haircut I've ever seen. What do you mean you don't know how to do hair? Oh, hey. I had practice from cutting your hair that one time. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, I think now we're almost at the finest, final look. I don't know. There's Colleen's hair. There it is. <laughs> Close up. Kara, just live on a ranch. <laughs> I just live on a ranch with my messy curl. I can't see. Oh, hold on, try it. There you are. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I don't even care, just live on a ranch. Just fluff, put your hair down like this, and then fluff it up. Do you like me now that I'm taking away food? Yum, so like messy curl, <laughs> living for it. Um, I have a question, can you do my hair? It'll make your hair more curly. And one spit curl. Okay. Or I can straighten. Uh, probably. <laughs> All right, we got baked potatoes, and some broccoli, and Jacob made this pasta with a meat marinara. Um, I'm trying to uh, yeah, make sure there's no I'll sit here. Do you want to try some spaghetti? How is it, Jake? Oh, my potatoes are so good. We got a fire pit going, Jake. We got a fire pit going. Marshmallow time! It's actually not that cold out here. I thought it was going to be colder. Yeah. It's pretty good. All right, Bailey. Let's let's see your. This is the perfect marshmallow. You're saying? It's good. That's pretty good on that one side for sure. Yeah, that's 25 percent done. Okay. Look at the look of determination, though. She's got a perfect rotation going. So slow. It's a good rotation. Oh wow! What did you do to the chocolate? Oh, there's some of it. She had it on the fire. The present's dripping. Oh wow! The perfect marshmallow right there. There it is. <laughs> You've done it. Congratulations. World's best s'more. Is anything coming out? <laughs> this, this, this is what... <laughs> this is the hose to, uh... Oh yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> so I messed up and I didn't show Parker's hairdo before he put on a hood and went outside. So, I don't know what it looks like under there, but let's see. Oh, it's very curly. That is some curly hair. Can I see it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that is curly. This, this business right here is the most curly. Right in here. Very curly. I think this one's the most curly. Oh yeah, that one's very curly too. They're all pretty curly. Mm -hmm. Lots of curls, lots of curls. So we've got a little game of pandemic going on right here. Let's save the world. Gotta save that world. Do it. We're all we're all counting on you. We have our velours on. We're ready. Yeah, you guys are very velourie, very velourie. Jake's gonna do a craft over here, and then Grandma and Parker are playing the game. What game are you playing? War. A war? These are regular cards. They look like a. Yeah. And then there's cookies happening it over here. Wouldn't be my birthday without cookies. This so, is my birthday cake. The slow cookie cookie birthday cook. Okay, we're trying to figure out who is taller how right tall, now. Taller, but we how much. So every time we check, James <laughs> go bananas. Like your hands are literally curled in the back. Like he's like. Yeah, are we going? Are we going by the fingertips or the wrists? Because. <laughs> but also, at which 
Gucci moment in time. <laughs> Bailey, that's that's not effective. Okay, who gives flat? Okay, see when you move around it defeats the purpose. The first time we did it, you didn't get it on camera, but he literally puffed our heads like this. So when we walked away, he was like this. <laughs> <laughs> that spells <Aww>. Chihuahua. <laughs> but earlier today, Christopher and Rachel and I didn't know what it said, and Jessica was like, Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't even handle the wall, the wall stand. <laughs> We're not playing Itsy Bitsy Spider. <laughs> it's past bedtime. All right, it is past midnight. I'm editing right now. Everybody's kind of going to sleep, but uh, this has been really, really awesome. I saw five shooting stars tonight. We found out who who's taller, and uh, I hope that you join us tomorrow when we explore the ranch even more. But this is really, like, it's been a nice little getaway. Thanks for watching today, and we will see you next time. <laughs>